Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Sirius. This was an anime on Netflix, and I heard the action in the show was decent, so I decided to watch it. The premise isn't anything unique. Vampires going around drinking blood from humans in secret. The truth about vampires existing isn't widely known. A group of people known as Jaegers are tasked with killing vampires. The main character Yuli is part of the Jaegers, and is also a werewolf. Currently, the vampires are searching for an item known as the Ark of Sirius that has the power to grant any wish. This anime is just a show that you watch for the mindless action. The plot is very generic and boring. I mean, searching for an item that can grant any wish? That sort of premise has been commonly done. One of the most popular anime series that used this sort of premise was Fate Stay Night. In that show, it was a holy grail that could grant any wish. I really wish there would be some sort of twist to this, but it ends in a predictable way. You just know an item that can grant any wish is too good to be true. The main character Yuli only cares about revenge against the vampires, and we know how common a revenge plot is in anime. Again, I was hoping for a good twist, but nope, there's just a cheesy moral lesson about how revenge won't make you happy. Even with this anime's strong point, which is action, there's a major issue with the fight scenes. The Jaegers are supposed to be an important group that are supposed to cheer for, yet the only person who can really fight the vampires is just Yuli. I get that the other characters aren't werewolves, but to have them be completely useless was frustrating to watch. It was entertaining though seeing Yuli fight against powerful vampires, and the monsters that the vampires created. The animation looked good during fight scenes, and it was really violent at times. The mysteries were decent in this anime series, you're left wondering what really happened when the vampires attacked Yuli's family and the other members of his clan. Where was his dad during this attack? And why did his dad hide the Ark of Sirius? In terms of characters, I only care about two characters in this show. The only good guy that I cared about was Yuli. The reason being is that this show almost entirely focused on him. We barely know much about the other good guys, so why should I care about them? Yuli was average as a protagonist. He's just a lost guy that doesn't truly know what he wants to do in life. It would be nice if he was determined and confident about his desire to get rid of the vampires, but deep down, he was just a nice guy. The character that I liked most in the show was the king of the vampire clan. He was flamboyant in a funny way, was determined to accomplish his goal no matter what, and didn't care who was in his way. He was a great antagonist. The opening song for his anime series was alright. I didn't care much for the ending song. The music throughout the anime doesn't really get you excited for the fight scenes. The animation style was above average. And the animation looked good during the fights. I do recommend to watch the anime series, but don't have high expectations. It's just an anime that you watch for the fight scenes. Which isn't even that bad. I mean, I'm sure people watch the anime Baki and still enjoyed it even though it was mindless action. I give this anime series a 6 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.